Hello and welcome to Ascend in Action, the podcast that celebrates the future of women in staffing and consulting, brought to you by Amoria Group. In this podcast, we'll be talking and tackling some of the key topics when it comes to women in staffing and consulting, from why we need more women and what we bring to the industry, to our role in tackling gender bias and empowering and supporting each other. Presented by the Progressing Lives Everywhere podcast, these conversations are designed to inspire, engage, and show how together we can fulfill our potential and progress our lives. Welcome to the Ascend in Action podcast series, uh, part of the Progressing Lives Everywhere podcast, brought to you by Amoria Group. I'm Andrew Bluffield, team manager for the US Burner and Better Electronics team, based in Amoria Bond's Manchester office. Um, in this fourth episode of the series, I'm talking to Sally Bourget, our office manager here in Manchester, and Helen Cassin, Senior Principal Talent Attraction Specialist, about how they balance work and home life. Um, so I'll start off with some questions. Helen and Sally, do you want to start by telling us a little bit about you, your background, and the work that you do at Amoria Bond? Hi, I'm Sally. So I'm office manager here at Amoria Bond. I've been here for three years. I'm married, uh, two children, two older children and three grandchildren who at the moment are living with uh, with myself um, and also two dogs. Um, so I'm office manager here, as I said, and I look after everybody in the office. Basically, I plan trips, organising like everything from sales conferences, sales days, um, work closely with IT, finance departments, um, work with the MDs across the whole group as well, doing various little things uh, to do with conferences and stuff. I also support the um, the US office, so over in Dallas. Um, so yeah, office mum, basically. Pretty, pretty, pretty busy lady. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Helen? I'm Helen. I am, um, as Andy said, Senior Principal Talent Attraction Specialist. So basically my role within the company is to um, attract really amazing talent to come and join the business. So, um, you know, that's basically helping candidates through the process, working with all of the hiring managers here in Manchester. And I also, like Sally, I also support the Dallas office as well. So work on, on their recruitment. So outside of work, um, also, I, I do have two children, um, basically, well, two teenagers who definitely keep me on my toes. You know, their life's quite full on outside of work as well. So, yeah, balancing everything can sometimes be a little bit tricky. <laughs> Well, you kind of lead me to my next question, really, with uh, with what you just said. So what are some of the challenges that you face as a woman in balancing work and home life then? I think a big part of it is, you know, you still, you know, you're still a mum. Um, you still got responsibilities at home. And my, you know, my job is quite full on. Um, like I mentioned before about supporting the Dallas office. So obviously there's a six hour time difference. So that means working different hours and things like that. But I also kind of use that to my own benefit and feel like I can fit more into into life, really having, you know, some flexibility in my role um, to be able to kind of fit, you know, things that are important to me, my family and also work. Um, I think it definitely can be challenging at times. And what are some of the things you fit in? So in terms of what else I fit in, so for example, um, you know, I'll I'll do flexible working hours. My own well-being and, and health is really important to me as well. So, you know, having time to fit in time for myself, like, you know, going to the gym and things like that are really important to me. So, you know, like I said before, as, as using like flexible working hours, I'll get up in the morning, go to the gym. I can see the kids before they go off to school and college and then get myself sorted and have a little bit of time for me before I then start my day at work so um yeah th those sorts of things I'd say and then Sally what about you so what are some of the challenges that you face as a woman when balancing your work and life balance so I've got two older children and three grandchildren so who um, like I mentioned before they are living with me at the moment so they are planning to um emigrate so they have just moved in with us for a few months. Um, so 
my time is um, a little bit more precious um, so that I'm getting to spend with them a lot more, which is great. Um, but I also, you know, we now have a house full of seven people in our in our house, so it can get a little bit hectic. So for me, the challenge is so I, I, I don't come to, I, I come to work. Obviously, I work one day from home with our flexi time that we're able to have. Um, but what I do do is I try and go, I make sure that I go out. So I take the dogs for a walk. We've got two dogs. So I make sure at the end of the day, I'll go out for a walk, which then puts me, it sort of rebalances me before I, you know, we get home and it's very hectic with three young grandchildren in the house. So that's, that's for me. And at weekend, you know, I try and we go on like longer walks um, or I'll, go out with my husband because he's self-employed. So, and that's, I, I take that as our quality time together um, <laughs> occasionally. So, um, so yeah, so the, you know, the challenges, you know, we have the great flexible working, which is great. Um, and we're able to, you know, uh, sort of hope, you know, rebalance what we do. I bet dinner time is pretty crazy your house then. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's they're all in school, so yeah. yeah, it's like bath, bed, and it's just crazy between the hours of five and seven thirty. Yeah, so I tend to go out for a little bit. Yeah, I can imagine. So, um, what tips or strategies do you have um, for maintaining a healthy balance, and what advice do you give other women? I suppose in terms of strategies, obviously it's different for, you know, for, for every every woman out there. And, you know, I mean, luckily for me, you know, I've, I've got support at home and, you know, um, I suppose in terms of like, you know, childcare and things like that, my husband works shifts, so he's at home a lot of the time to, you know, to sort them out. Obviously other people don't always have that, that kind of benefit and, you know, that, um, that support there at home. So I understand it can be very difficult and, you know, everybody's situations can be different. Um, I think certainly for me, you know, the, the kind of tips or strategies that I've got for maintaining, you know, that healthy balance is you've got to remember to also take some time for yourself and put yourself first at times you know obviously life is so full-on you know you, you you always I think I mean obviously men do this as well but certainly for, for women um well from so I can speak for myself I always put the kids first and it's like sometimes you've got to kind of realize that and be like right hold on a minute you know make sure you're spending that time each day you know even if it's like you know going going for a, a walk um you know after work for half an hour to clear your head after you finish work or things like that um it's making that time and I think also you know something that's always been uh you know kind of I suppose installed into me really is is about being organized like if I'm not organized that's when I'm stressed like I like to have um a routine and I like to be prepared um you know for for you know making sure like say for example each evening making sure you're prepared for the next day um you know with the kids with uniforms and lunches and <laughs> things like that um so yeah I think that those are the kind of tips and strategies that I probably would um will do use and, and would definitely say help me certainly what about you Sally yeah I mean the, the same you know I like a bit of organization and routine um so that helps me to you know plan the day making sure that you you can you, if you can you know take out and make time for yourself um you know either dog walking just go for a walk just a bit of fresh air it just rebalances you, yourself and just helps you to continue the day. Um, sometimes I don't have a lunch and then when I go home at night, I, I feel like I've not sort of had a break. So, you know, I will then make sure that I do go out when I get home, you know, I'll get the girls and I will take them out for a walk just to make sure that I can get that sort of rebalance back in my life. And what, what are the two girls called? My two girls, they're called Poppy and Willow. They're my Poppy little fur babies, yeah. 
on that point about um you know do, doing something like going for a walk or things like that and obviously you mentioned about having the flexibility um Sally to work from home when I work from home I, you know if I'm if I'm on my lunch break I, I don't like start doing washing and you know cleaning the house and things like that I'll use that hour to you know go and do something for me as well <laughs> whether that's the gym or, you know, take the dog out and go for a walk at that time. Like, I think that's another important thing. Sometimes just, you know, making sure that you're doing something, something separate. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely important to put yourself first. Whilst kids, um, you are a responsibility. It's, it's also, you need to make sure that you're prioritising yourself, right? Um, and you, because they'll they're still be there. They still know they count on you, but... You still need to make sure you do stuff that's healthy and active for yourself. Um, so, yeah, finally, um, what do you hope to see for the future when it comes to healthy balance for women in the workplace then? So, Helen, you, you can go first on that. I mean, a big thing for me is, you know, since since joining the Amori group, right, we've done some incredible things. Like the changes that I've seen in the business around this sort of topic is unbelievable so um you know we've we've recently just completely revamped our family forming policy so you know that includes things like provide you know having the flexibility um you know that's maybe needed things that um you know kind of really benefit people for you know maybe if someone's going through um adoption or fertility treatment or paternity leave and also you know I suppose subjects like around things like you know like the menopause as well um Sally would you agree yeah no totally agree with that being a woman of an of an older generation so to speak you know I am going through the menopause at the moment the well-being that is is done we're here within a moria group is really good and the support that we get so you know i have um i can have meetings with my line manager at any point if i'm feeling that you know i need some support for something you know luckily my symptoms aren't as bad as you know a couple of my friends that are going through an awful lot at the moment you know with their symptoms you know we're all different we all go through it at different stages of our lives, you know, different ages. Nobody knows when they're going to go through the menopause. Um, I've been going through it now for about six, seven years. Um, I feel that I'm OK and I'm still the same person. But, you know, like I said, a couple of my friends have, have their hormones have just, you know, moved around and, you know, they're completely different. They were completely different people. You know, we've got the support here. I just need to go and ask if I need anything, you know, and the help is there. Do your friends get the same level of support you feel you do? One of them does get, you know, they do get support in their line of work, but the other one, no, they're completely on their own and they've got no benefits whatsoever to do with that at the moment. Um, she is fighting it, you know, and trying to, you know, bring that in line or, you know, to, you know, see if there's something that can be done. But, you know, here at Amoria, you know, the, the, the support that we get is really, really good. Yeah, do, do you think this is an area, a topic area that obviously the, the men should be educated more on? No, definitely, completely, because, you know, we go through it in different stages, you know, some days... You know, we, I can be, you know, normal or whatever. And then, you know, another day you might just be feeling, I don't know, a, a little bit extra low or just not feeling the way that you feel that you should be feeling that day. So it would be good for the men to also, you know, just to, you know, obviously they're not going to go through it, but just to learn a little bit more about it because People are going through relationships, different stages in their relationships, you know, and like I say, women are going through it in all different ages. You know, you don't know what's around the corner. You don't know what's going to happen and when you're going to go through it. That's all that we have time for today. It's been really great speaking to you today, Helen and Sally. So thank you so much for sharing your insights and experiences with us. Um, it's great having you on the show. Um, if you're looking to start a career in recruitment or want to learn more about the industry, be sure to check out moriabonds.com. Thank you for listening to Ascendant Action. 
brought to you by Amore Group. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a review. Every time you do, it helps others to find the show. Amoria Group are committed to walking the talk, and through our recruitment brand, Amoria Bond and consultancy, Coalesce Management Consulting, we work hard to create a positive and inclusive environment for everyone. For further details on Amoria Group and how we are progressing lives everywhere, head over to amoriagroup.com. See you next time.